Welcome back to Enter the Dragonfly. It's time for the final level. Hooray! You know, I didn't think it would take this long. Sorry, I have a really bad itch in my nose. I just need a second. Ugh. I think it will. Yeah, I gave him the incentive to talk about whatever he wanted, and that's what he starts with. Ah, uh, yeah, well, hey. You Why should have watched a documentary about, you know, picking your nose. I uh, call that about uh, current events, you know? Ah, uh, okay. My nose is itching, so I talk about it. Oh, indeed, indeed. So this, uh, this level you can totally skip right by. Oh, God, the fire effects, they just... Yeah, it... Oh! Okay. <laughs> The loading zone only activates when you're on the right side of it. It's like, for, for most of the effects, they use the most graphical intensive, uh, most hardcore CPU, like, re required stuff that they need, and that just makes the entire thing chug. And apparently we're going into a tractor beam or something like that. This level's one giant Jurassic Park reference. Oh, great. Yeah, this is a scientist who is working on uh, experimenting with dinosaurs. Nobody's a clever girl in this game. And uh, we have to, quote unquote, capture the dinosaurs he was working on. It's also a Terminator reference. Oh, the T Rex 1000. You know what? I like that one. But they're not even the same director. I'll give it that. I like that one. They're not, it, it's it's Cameron and Spielberg. It'd be different if it was a, if it was another Spielberg reference or another Cameron reference. I'm just talking about the T Rex 1000. That's a funny parody. I, I guess. This level is uh, not fun, especially when you've had your GameCube on for as long as I have. I know I keep mentioning this. Is it supposed to whir that loud? Very edgy. Maybe I should turn the fan up. Oh, really? <laughs> and how exactly <laughs> Just would I go about get into the legitimate effects so nobody knows it's pre-recorded. We did find a flaw in the R1000 models. Oh, here we go. Here's where the breath abilities actually come into play. We've had it a bit here and there where you have to have a specific breath to get something. You need a specific breath to stop space aliens or something like that. That calculator is dummy thick. And this is where it all comes around and just like, okay, so you can only kill specific T-Rexes with a specific breath, and you can kill everything else with something else, and... Why is he carrying a pencil if he has nothing to write on with? No, he's gonna write on the calculator. But why would... It doubles as a tablet. He's a doctor? In fact, that might be... No, it's not a reused model. I was thinking they reused the professor from Spyro 2 and 3. Gosh, <laughs> don't compare me to this crackpot! Wow, re <laughs> Wow, really? Yeah, that's not the fact that my console's been on long enough, that's just the usual animation that's where it just sizzles and dies. <laughs> that's just a garbage animation from people who are running low on their deadline. Oh. The electric fences actually hurt you. Good uh, touch. Okay, cool. I mean, duh. No, I, well, I didn't think of it. I was trying to think if they thought of it. Do you ever, they did. Do you ever touch a high voltage electric fence and go, huh, that feels kind of alright? Also, lava. <laughs> the lava's working. That's good. Oh, and falling rocks. Uh, it's even better. The lava river looks cool. Yeah. I'll admit that. This is a cool looking level. Seems like it seems pretty inconsequential because there's one bridge and we've conquered that. So. <laughs> one bridge down. The rest of the dinos to go. Time to exterminate. What killed the dinosaurs? Enter the dragonfly. The Ice Age movies? <laughs> the Ice Age movies. Oh no, Ray Romano. Yeah, I'll say it. I don't like the Ice Age movies. I don't think they're funny. What, you don't like five. Uh, Ice Age 5 Continental Drift or whatever it's called? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, wasn't there a six? Are they making a six? Oh, they better not. I thought they ran out of ideas when they brought in Queen Latifah. I think they ran out of ideas halfway through the first movie. I mean, I kind of like the first one. It worked. It's a good kid's film. I was a kid once. I didn't like it much even when I was a kid. If you consider eighth grade a kid. <laughs> Look, I was in sixth grade at that point. <laughs> it worked for me. So it appeals more to you than it does to me. Yes. Because I am a smarty older boy with a big brain. <laughs> and I'm a pathetic young boy <laughs> with you a small brain. And you are just a baby, baby boo -boo. brain. Here is your bob. Oh, you what? are a child. <laughs> 
Whittle baby boo boo <laughs> playing spy wolf for internet. There, fine, I get it. I'm holding on to those two years older than you <laughs> as, as, as over your head. Oh, and the best thing is I can fire right back, old timer. <laughs> He's slowly disintegrating. Just like me while playing this game. Imagine that. And your GameCube, too, I think. Uh huh. And the game disc. Oop, okay. And the RAM. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, um, this is where it comes to fruition, and I absolutely... See, when stuff like this happens... Uh, now... Okay, let me backtrack. Reel it back. Okay. Niskel, let's start again. The only reason I started this Let's Play, and I actually wanted to talk about this when it came to this level in particular, because oh. I knew it would take a long time to get here, or short time, however you want to say it. A time. But the thing is, I would keep the console on and have it start essentially breaking itself. The only reason we're doing this is because I made a bet. If Reignited came out, I would do this. And so I am. I made a promise, I made a bet. And I lost that bet. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty safe bet, I mean. Come on. Well, of course I made that bet moments before they announced it. I was like, okay, cool, thanks, universe. It's like, if there's a Call of Duty next year, I swear. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I forgot how bad the game was. And the thing is, a lot of these glitches, I'm not trying to get. Like, I don't know how to break this game. It just naturally breaks. Why does he have glass in only one of his glasses? Because they forgot one. Why does he have a cork for a pierced ear? You know what? If you're gonna nitpick everything, you're gonna be here for a very long time. Why is the game so bad? Mm. Because it was rushed! Oh, I guess I gotta watch a documentary so I can feel bad for the idiots that thought that they could make a game like this in however, however time that they thought. Yeah, allow me to uh, continue that story. I'm allowed to shit on a game that's terrible. I don't care if it's rushed, because uh, that just gives me more reason to ridicule it. And so I am. This is why I'm here. Okay, so it's not the developer's fault. It's somebody's fault. Somebody is to blame for this. Somebody! Somebody looked at this and thought, yeah, yeah, that's good. Let's, let's throw it out. Actually, it, I wouldn't be surprised if nobody looked at it. Or like, does it fit on a disc? Cool. Ship it. Yeah, but still, somebody had to okay this and print it. Some th This is somebody's fault. And I do know that when developers are put into a crunch time, they have a hard time sleeping at night because they know the, f the thing they're shipping out is terrible. And they all feel bad about that. And of course, I'm not going to blame a developer. Or, I'm not going to blame programmers. I well, can blame the developer all I want. I can sometimes blame programmers because you know some of them belong to pro to developers like uh, 3D Realms, who started over Duke Nukem Forever like five times because oh it's just not it's just not right. Hey, I like this puzzle. And that's another thing. For people who think we're being overly negative on this game just because it's crap. Welcome to the channel. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not setting out to say that every game I play is bad. If it's bad, I'll let you know. If it's good, I will definitely let you know. I want this to be good, damn it! <laughs> but no, we can't have nice things when stuff is rushed. I didn't even expect this to be bad. Or this bad. Oh, well, the only reason you thought it was bad is because I told you. Yeah, but not this bad. Yeah, so whenever there's a good thing, like, some of these glitches are hilarious. And this puzzle in particular? It's fine. See, look. See if you can figure it out. I'm gonna go with purple, blue, red. Yes, but in what way? Uh. There's a specific reason they're showing this stuff. So it's red, blue, purple then? Mmm. There's five gems. Two of them are useless. There's. Doopa! There's five. Doopa! Five gems. They're just not trying anymore! Look, that one actually makes sense. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, unless we need another Mark in here. Or some other very English name. Doompa actually sounds like a mythical creature's name. I'm not gonna badmouth it for that. Loompa, Loompa, Doompa D. James Go Doompa, and find Doompa, some Doompa, better Doompa, 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 names. Doompa, Doompa. I still like it. Whatever. See, look. So. I, um, yeah, there's five gems. I guess I gotta hit mm -hmm. those. 
but they have something specific on them. A hint, maybe. A hint? A hint in order to solve the puzzle. Oh, I think I saw the other cave drawings. Yeah. Or sculptures. They're not on this floor. <laughs> I'm waiting for me to figure this out. There we go. So that one has three blocks around oh. it. Yeah, there we go. And the other two we need to worry about, but first we need to pick up these gems. Sorry if my playstyle is very... Well, that could be just trial and error. Out in the nowhere. Skull key! Hey, we got the skull key! Uh, I don't think Sparks talks for the rest of this Let's Play, and I'm very happy about that. Okay, so the rest of the puzzle is down here. There's a tablet with two, and there will be a tablet with five. And we just need to correspond those colors with the order. So there's one, there's three, the purple one was four. Okay, so, uh... And then, Red. by process of elimination, yellow is five. You okay? So, one. ding. And here we go. Two. <laughs> and as long as they keep flashing, you know you got it. Three. So and you, we got it. You could do this without even needing the, <laughs> the cave drawings. Uh, it's, it's a lot simpler just to do it, but hey, let's... Uh, uh. <laughs> it manifests out of nowhere! Have I created life? Am I ready to become God? Hey, it's Scarlet. Hey, you caught Scarlet. You can tell because she's totally yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's just, uh, like, uh, burning so much, but then she would be even more red. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I wonder why she's called Scarlet. Hello, comrade. Oh, oh, well, okay. We did it. Jean, Jean Marc. Marc. <laughs> See, it could be like that. Hello. Hello. I am the Jean Marc. <laughs> you know what? I, I would really like it if we had another audio glitch where they started talking like a computer or something like that. Like Apple speak. Hello. I am John Mark. John Mark, excuse me. But I don't think Apple Talk would be able to pick up on the John. File John Mark 033.OGG not found. <laughs> Delete System 32. Wait, no! <laughs> My Wii gets bricked because of Enter the Dragon. It doesn't block. even run Windows! What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, we're finding all sorts of <laughs> technological inconsistencies. How did, what did they do with this game? <laughs> it runs Linux, Mac, and Microsoft. No wonder why it's or chugging, Windows. because it's running all three at the same time! I would love it if we like took a look at the files and somehow there's like Sony programming and Microsoft programming. I know this was made for, or tried to be made for every console, but I would just love it if they were using every single like deve developer kit I'm trying to put this together. Even ones that don't make any sense. Why is AutoCAD on here? Oh, it's... I would love it if this game ran on the Turbo Graphics. <laughs> There's QuickBooks on here! <laughs> Can this game run on Kindle? Let's find <laughs> out! Kindle, the next gaming system. Why would it run on Kindle? It can't even run on this. I don't know. We might be able to get a, like... Look, they put Resident Evil 4 on a Mexican phone system. They can do anything. If you think hard enough, you can put any game on anything. You just you might have to dial it back like infinity times. Okay, let me know when you can get Witcher 3 on the Apple t the uh, Atari 2600. Somebody out there has probably done it. <laughs> now when a 580 Atari 2600 cassette <laughs> set. <laughs> It's The Witcher 3! Hey look, he took his first steps! Change out the cartridge. Actually, we might be able to find that prehistoric cartridge here in Jurassic Jungle. And I never explained, this only has 600 gems, it has the last of the gems in the game. Oh. Well... Okay. And the worst part is, when we have our final count, we won't have those gems that Moneybag stole from us. But We will forever be... Down uh, 400 gems, I think. Capitalism wins again! However much it was. I don't remember. We got a challenge. Let's go get those lightning rods. We've done this before. Zap. Oh, wow. They really put a lot of thought 
into this challenge. Yeah, at this point, there's let's. There, there really is no reason to complain anymore, just because. The only thing I'm expecting hey, at hey, this point whoa, whoa, whoa. is for the game to crash. Who said I was complaining? I was applauding them for their expert game. Oh, design. Spark speaks. <laughs> Spyro, what are you looking at? I think I broke my neck! He did! Ah! Oh, he's not supposed to be looking like that! Ah! Ah! <laughs> my caramba! I think my equilibrium is messed up, Sparks! Okay. Ah, Sparks! Just get the fuck! You know, the more I go back and edit these episodes, the more, like, glitches I find in the background. <laughs> it's getting very comical now. <laughs> like, to the point where I actually have to, like, zoom in. Like, when we did Honey Marsh, the episode that just went up, I think. Yeah. I had to zoom in because I saw something in the background fucking up. <laughs> so it was pretty great. All right. Okay, this challenge. It's cool. I like it. Okay. Volcano's about to explode. Slide to Oh, wait, it's another slide. Damn it, I was thinking of the other thing. It's this, another slide. This volcano's about to explode! Get up in that shit! Uh, yeah, well, you need to make it to the bottom. Now, I think what was supposed to happen... Oh, that's a terrible effect. ...is, uh, there was supposed to be lava chasing us. And... it's not... So, this is just hard yeah. difficulty slide. It's just an auto scroller now. Well, I mean, we're making it scroll. Spyro's on a slide. Volcano's gonna erupt. He will burn if he does not get out soon. This Watch is out for that fucking wigging out boulder. This is actually one of the more fun slides out of the three we've had to do in this game. Because there's actual challenge here, and it's not just, oh, you got hit, you lose. See, like this, you actually need to pay attention. You need to make sure you make your jumps properly. And then... Ooh, you're good. Up! And then they blindside you. That's alright. You got enough momentum. And then your momentum is killed. That's another thing I do like about this. There aren't, like, instant death pits right next to stuff that stops your momentum. That lava looks pretty insta-kill, though. Oh, it definitely is. I can't remember how many times I had to do this slide. Well, there's one. And, uh, yeah, editing room floor had a field day with this, because there's a lot of ones where I make a turn and just don't make it. That boulder is not right, man. Well, it's not the way rocks move in a volcano. Well, then it would just move to one side and stop. Like, it's dancing. That's fine. It's an obstacle. It's like the rock thinks it's going to be Michelin J Frog. Ah! Hello, okay. my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> Hello, my ragtime gal. You know what? I wouldn't mind that. If the rock started singing, <laughs> I would be totally okay. You see a smashed Ooh. cane and hat next to you. Ah! See, look, this is great. Uh, I... Okay, that's not great. That's not fun. That's okay, though. I understand now. I got it. I'm going to use my galaxy-sized brain and figure this slide out. All right, third time's the charm, then. That's right. So, there. And we need to make early jumps. So, we go to the left, then. Yeah. They have longer bits, and... Yeah, that's it. Correct. So, you pick your difficulty. It's another thing I like about this slide. Oh, Jesus. Okay, they did oh, not... Oh, Jesus. They forgot to add something in those holes. No, I don't care. They forgot to put ah! lava in there! They're just... They're hey, just voids! It. Hey, we did it. Hey, Professor. Oh, it looks like it wasn't blowing up. Oh, just in time? You made it just in time! <laughs> nah, that's what I was expecting, honestly. <laughs> hey, it's Saji! It's Saji. It it's short for Saji. Oh, I love this. Volcano stabilized. You wanna do it again? <laughs> Come on, you can cheat death again, can't you? No. No, I'm good. I'm good. Come back any time, it's a volcano! It's gonna get- We need to get out of here! People will die! <laughs> Alright, next time I enter the dragonfly, it's the second half of the final level. <sighs> Yay, we're finally getting to it. 
getting to what? Oh, it's all been a build-up, dude. It's all been a build-up to this? Yep. Oh. You'll see. Well. Okay. <laughs>